now. First tonight at 11, a Roswell woman is walking us through the moment she found a bank robbery suspect hiding inside her home. Police say the suspect robbed the truest bank off of Holcomb Bridge Road on Monday. Then Tuesday, he led police on a chase that ended off Old Mountain Park Road in the city of Mountain Park. He ditched his car running from police, sparking an hours long manhunt. That is until he was discovered by a woman on the second floor of her home, just steps away from her bedroom. A bizarre situation here. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn spoke with that woman tonight. He joins us live in Roswell. And Cody, this had to be absolutely terrifying for that woman. Ron and Jennifer, this story just wild. Gwen Ketchum was home alone on Wednesday, her husband out of town on a trip. And if stumbling upon a stranger inside your home in the middle of the night is not scary enough, this man was in her home for hours and Ketchum had no idea. I will never forget that story. The one Gwen Ketchum is about to tell. I knew there was a chase. I actually had taken pictures of the police in my backyard on Tuesday. Ketchum aware a suspect was in the area. So I kind of had it on my radar. I knew to be paying attention. Mm -hmm. But I also felt like oh, he's probably moved on by now. She was a little distracted. I had a pretty bad day. Um, I'd had to say goodbye to one of my cats. Catch him trying to keep her mind off of it, only leaving the house to run a quick errand. I came home and sat at the kitchen table and ate a little bit. She did a couple more things, finished up work, then off to bed. The cat that I said goodbye to had always slept next to me and none of my cats were there. A little restless. By now, it's after midnight. I heard, I thought, a knock on the door. She got up, didn't see anything. And I thought, okay, you're just imagining it, but where are the cats? Before heading back to bed. It's my husband's office, and we always keep the door just partially open. Ketchum checked the room across the hall. I pushed on the door, and it stopped. And I was like, what's going on? Why won't, my do why won't the door open? And I reached into the light switch and flipped on the switch, and saw knees down, legs, and boots laying on the floor. Did he move? No, he didn't move. Thank God. Did you scream? You didn't say you didn't... I, didn't do, I didn't make a sound. I just started shaking. She heads downstairs. And I see a man standing outside the store. Ketchup runs to the garage, jumps in her car, and calls 911. He said, ma'am, the police are on your property. What you saw outside your front door was an officer. Telling her to go let him in. And I said, do I have to go back in my house? And he said, you'll be okay. There's officers all around your house. Once she knew she was protected, Ketchum did go back inside and let those officers in. They rushed upstairs and arrested the suspect. An amazing story here. So Cody, how are the officers already at her home? I told you the story is wild. Now, those officers were out there, and that was, in fact, a knock she heard. It was an officer knocking on her door. What she has since found out is that this suspect, while in that room, her husband's office, he got on their computer, used some type of app where he tried to order an Uber or an a Lyft, and then he actually checked his Gmail account, his emails. And he left a digital footprint, which, through technology, allowed officers to track him down to her house. So they just happened to come across each other at the same time. She woke up, the police were downstairs, and luckily, they got him before anyone was hurt. Man, that could have been wrong so many different ways. Could have went wrong so many different ways. A shout out to the Roswell Police Department. Great police work. Yeah. And we're glad that she is okay tonight. Cody, thank you.